Hey kids, it's Mrs. Compton, and we are going to start today with a number talk. So, get your brains ready, because it's all mental math. Here we go. How would you solve this? So we know the starting number, and we know the ending number, but we don't know the number in the middle that makes it change. So, how would you do this? Everybody get your heart signals ready. This is when you have one way, you put up one finger, two ways, you put up two fingers. All right, if you need more time, go ahead and pause it now. But if you're ready, I want to hear what you think the answer is. On the count of three, one, two, three, tell me. Did you say 16? I think you did. So let's find out. Let's find out if we think the answer is 16. So I'm going to guess that some of you probably thought about a number line. And you knew we were starting at 5 and we had to get to 21. And we really have to find the distance between the two. So we want to find out how far it is from 5 to 21. So let's see. I'm going to guess that some of you probably said I could hop from 5 to 10 by adding 5 more because 5 plus 5 is 10. And then I'm going to guess maybe some of you said, oh, I know I could just hop from 10 to 21 by adding 11. But I have another guess. I'm going to guess that some of you actually did another littler hop inside. So maybe you did 10 plus 10 is 20. And then you did the last hop. Is 21. So maybe you did one big hop of 11 or maybe you did a hop of 10 and a hop of 1. They both equal 11, right? So then maybe you added them all together and you knew that 11 plus 5 was 16. So maybe you figured it out that way. Hmm. I'm wondering, did anyone use a 120 chart in their mind or look at it? So maybe you thought about a 120 chart and you knew that you could go down one row. When we go down one row, we know that we're adding 10. And then maybe you said, okay, I added 10, and then I added 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And that would be adding 16 to five to get to 21. So maybe you did it like that. I'm not sure you have to tell me in the comments. I love seeing your comments. Okay, I have another one for you. Here we go. Remember, it's mental math. How would you solve 15 plus a number equals 42. How would you solve that? Everybody take your think time. Get your heart signal ready. Go ahead and pause it if you need more time, but if you're ready, I want to hear your answer. Okay, are you ready? Everybody, one, two, three, tell me. Did I hear 27? 27, I think he said 27. Is that what I heard? 27? Okay, so let's see if we can prove it. I'm going to guess that maybe there was another number line. So maybe you did, maybe you did 15 here, and you know we had to get to 42. And I'm gonna guess your first hop was a hop of five to get to a friendly number. So 15 plus five is 20. And maybe you knew that 20 plus 20, 20 plus 20 would give us 40 plus two more would give us 42. 
maybe you knew that and then you said, oh, I could add all the hops together. So our answers are in the hops. Okay, so 20 plus 5 is 25, and 2 more would make 27. So I think we got it right. The answer is 27. Huh, I wonder if anybody else solved in another way. Let me guess. Hmm. I'm wondering, maybe you took hops of 10. So let me try another way. Maybe you've thought about it as hops of 10. So maybe you started at 15 and we had to get to 42. And you said, I could do a hop of 10. That would get me to 25. And another hop of 10, and that would get me to, oops, to 35. And maybe you guys, maybe somebody said, I am back. Maybe somebody said, I could do another hop of 10. But then that would get me to 45. So another hop of 10 would get us to 45. And maybe some of you were like, oh, I would have to take off three. I'd have to hop back three. 45, 44, 43, 42 to get to 42. So maybe you said I had to add 30, but then I had to take off these three. So 30 minus three is 27. I don't know how you solved because you're not here to tell me, so I want to hear how you solved. These are just ways I'm guessing that you solved. All right, are you ready for our story problem today? I hope you are. It is all about caterpillars. Now, I bet you probably know that caterpillars love milkweed, and I have five milkweed bushes in my backyard. I have a really big backyard. And I have seen so many caterpillars. It's been crazy. And I even now have some cocoons going in my yard, some chrysalises. So I'm waiting to see the beautiful butterflies that happen in my backyard. I'm excited. So anyway, today's story is all about caterpillars. So here we go. Caterpillars. Oh, this story is all about Poppy. Poppy's in Mrs. Becker's class at Pacific. Everybody say, hi, Poppy. Hi, Mrs. Becker. Hope you guys are doing well. All right. Poppy caught, hmm, caterpillars. She wants to have, hmm, caterpillars. How many more caterpillars does Poppy need to catch? Okay. So let's see. We know for sure that Poppy caught some caterpillars in the beginning. And we know in the end she wants to have a certain number of caterpillars. But we have to figure out how many more she needs to catch. So remember, our just right number sets are now written on the poster. They're not on little stickies. So I'm going to show you again, and I'm going to explain how you would do this. So here are three number set options. If you choose this number set, you must choose the 6 and the 24, and the 6 is the first number, it goes on the first line. The 24 is the second number, it goes on the second line. Or you could pick 16, and 16 would go on the first line, 64 would go on the second line, and so on. All right, so let's reread it with 6 and 24. Poppy caught six caterpillars. She wants to have 24 caterpillars. How many more caterpillars does Poppy need to catch? Okay, so we know in the beginning she has already caught six caterpillars. In the end, she wants to have 24 caterpillars, and we have to know how many more caterpillars does she need to go collect. All right, everybody, I hope you are ready. Check in with your teacher to see how you should turn this work into her. All right, see you next time. Bye.